Welcome all to the second day of our complete augmented reality fundamental course. Today we are going to discuss about user defined target. A user defined target is another kind of marker based augmented reality where the user can pick any target or image from real world environment and if the image has enough feature points the user can augment virtual object on the top of that particular image. I have decided to make this tutorial into two parts uh, because many of you maybe are not interested in coding and many of you maybe want to know the background of that particular problem. So in this part you will see how you can make your own user defined target application without any kind of coding. We will use Vuforia's pre-made asset to do that. For those who really wants to know what's going behind the scene, I have made another tutorial which discuss about the coding part of user defined target. So let's get right into it. First of all you have to go to the asset store, search for Vuforia course samples and you will find this one. Download it and import it to your project. When the import is complete, you will see that there is some error here. To fix this error, all we have to do, we have to press this create button, go to Vufuria and air camera. And when it calls for the update Vufuria asset, you will press this update button. So when you update the asset, you will see those errors are gone. Next thing I want to do is that I have to go to this file and build setting go to player setting and turn this Vuforia augmented reality support on. Now we have to go to the Vuforia configuration from your camera and open Vuforia configurations and paste the license key like we did the last day. So go to your developer account, login, So copy this license key and paste it here. So now what you have to do, you have to go to the sample scenes and go to the user defined targets. Don't save it. Now, Now this is already configured so I am going to give you a really brief description of what it actually does. So you see there is a bar here. So whenever the user put a camera on some kind of image, if the image is good enough to be a target this turns to green otherwise it will be yellow or red. Next thing is when it is green if you press this uh, camera button here this object will be popped up on your screen like it will augment on the top of the target. I would like to augment a cat model on top of the target. So I'm going to delete this oxygen tank model and go to asset store and download a cat model. Go to asset store and search for cartoon cat. We'll find this model. Download and import this model. Now import this cat model on top of your user defined target like this. So I'm gonna scale it down. and rotate it like this or maybe like this and finally I will drag and drop this to the user defined target and finally I have to drag and drop this animator to the cat done. So now if you run this game on your mobile device, you will see that it is working really fine. But what if we don't need this kind of UI? What if we need something else? 
to do this thing we need to do our own scripting and you can always change this ui from this particular options for example this is the low bar and mid bar and high bar and so on and so forth this is this user defined target i i hope you know this basic uh, unity ui things so if you change those settings you will get a different look of this particular application but maybe you want to do something else with this user defined target so to understand that we really need to go through the scripting that's why in the next tutorial i am going to discuss about this user defined scripting those who are not interested in scripting you can skip that particular tutorial you can just use your own model under this particular user defined target game object and it will work really fine before finishing i would like to show you how the application currently looks in a real android device the video might be a little bit laggy but in your device it will look perfectly fine so as you can see this is the target this is a random target and the device is trying to track it it's green now so the tracking is good now if i press the camera button this cat will pop up and i can look and look around the cat will animate it looks really great but sometimes you'll see the cat is flickering because the target might not be that good if the target is really stable there will be no flickering okay and you can just move this target and try another target it will look the same now take a look at this target particular this one so now i have taken another target but again the cat has been augmented on this particular platform but none of those images was predefined right it is user defined so thank you for watching the video i am looking forward to seeing you in the next tutorial where i'm gonna discuss more in depth of user defined target with scripting thank you for watching